not the best price ever, but so it goes. Spain, no. Portugal, I haven't traded with you for a while. Wow, I'm way ahead of you in science. And I'm only going to get further ahead, so I, that's why I'm not too concerned about selling them this stuff for completely knockoff prices, frankly. Hop for rejected. Denmark. All of that stuff for 28 million, and you say no. You're lost, buddy. Now I have a bit more money. There we go. <laughs> I knew that I'd make this uh, technology pay for me. India, just to concern the British a little bit. You don't want it. Fine. China? Probably will. Oh yeah, that's a good price. Cha-ching. Brazil? Would be nice if there was a way of doing this automatically. Although actually there might be. Cabinet priorities, trade focus. No, acquire technologies. I wish there was one of cell technologies, preferably to allies. <laughs> Actually making good good amount of money out of this. Let's see if we can do some more. And those for money. And these for money. 54 million for 1.5 billion. That's taking the piss, I'm afraid. No. That's just silly. Italy, you hate my gut, so I'm not even going to look at you. Greece. I have not had much to do with you for a while, have I? Oh, what was the country that kept on trying to sell me stuff? Venezuela. I should see if Venezuela wants any of this. 52 million. That's also kind of taking the piss. Uh, Venezuela. Yeah, we're, we're buddies. What will you offer me for these? Nothing, apparently. Eight million. The only one you actually want is isotope principles. Yeah, literally. Alright. Don't know if you noticed, but every time you try to trade with a colony, it opens the trade with the parent. I had noticed that, and I had forgotten. Alright, we now have 900,000, so I can definitely pay off some of my debt. I should have done that ages ago. Technology trading makes you some serious bank. Uh, where are my debts? Oh no, there they are. There you are. Hi, guys. I knew you were around somewhere. You always are. I think we'll go down to about 300 million. Do one more. Alright, so all of my debt is now below 4% rate. So we should be alright. Wow, that was a lot of money from trade. 14 million from petroleum. Nice. Is agriculture still selling as well? No. Price differential is down to 6. How's production of everything else going? Feels like the power is getting a bit bigger again for some reason. That's a lot of Belgian troops on the move. It's because Germany's actually sticking some stuff on the border now. Uh, speaking of borders, we do have some more AA guns available for duty. I think Heerlen needs one. And... Enskede has already got one. Daventer has already got one. This must be for Emmen then. A 
left for a bit, what happened? I sell, sold most of the world a lot of technology and made almost a billion out of it. Which paid off a large chunk of my debt. What is my debt now? 564 million. Dutch East Indies are down to 100 million. Oh, I definitely need to take some more off of you. I'm going to take 500. Oh, that's a bloody Australia again. Diplo offer. Yeah, we're super cool with each other, so... I think I'm handling this financial transaction basis pretty damn well. We'll take that, and we're not going to give you anything in return. Perfect. And once you have accepted that... Indonesia, come on. There it is. Thank you. I can then pay off another chunk of debt. Which is lovely. Pay off the most expensive portion. Down to... 200 again. In fact, we may as well just pay it all off. Oh yeah, easy. Boom! Debt free since the 19th of January, 1939. Oh yes! Haha! <laughs> right, you are a AT gun. Where was lacking AT? You have AT. You have AT. You have AT. So do you. I just noticed my AT guns are down to three tip, three pips. Alright, so you two need some more. You especially, I would assume. Alright, now, production is still ongoing. Research, early naval electronics is almost done. Uh, is that actually? No, it doesn't. It does lead to military vessels 37, though, which should give me a new generation of ships. No debt for the Dutch? It's not really Dutch, then, is it? It's something else. We're not sure what, though. Inflation's down to 17.9. It's still way too high. For my, uh... Opinion. If I took a loan now, it would be 76 million. Like, the value of the Dutch economy has just gone through the friggin' roof. Now GDP is still 700. <laughs> Dutch has to mean debt in some languages. Like, they even sound the same, kind of. They both have a D. Uh, we are building just five more units. And then I think we may well go back to elite guards. Probably. Have all the roads and things been built? Uh, no. Still being... being built. And most particularly... the bridges. Which I can't see. Ah, oh, there's a bridge. And then there'll be a bridge here too. No, oh, apparently not. Research breakthrough. Naval electronics. Good. Are there any other non-military techs that I would want? I think we just want to go for the military vessels 37 so we can start getting some of those. Perfect. I really do wish it showed you how far along this construction was. It doesn't tell you anywhere. Believe me, we've looked. Now one area that we could potentially do with improving the roads is down here. So we can move along the south of the Netherlands as well as along the north. You know what, let's do it. Build, transport, road. And Eindhoven should be road pretty much everywhere. Well, I said it started, and hopefully roads override rails. I don't know for sure. 
Yeah, is a Dutch bond from 1600 still paying interest. That's true for one of the polder. Someone needed to build a polder to protect one of the towns or cities in the Netherlands somewhere. Took out a bond, and yeah, Yale has a copy of that bond, and it still pays out like 11 euros a year. Eventually connect the roads into Belgium and take them over. That might possibly happen. Maybe. Probably. Probably. Alright. Supply throughout the Netherlands is looking pretty striking. Drop to 1,200 is still on there. At least you're making consumer goods now. GDP is once again on the rise, apparently. Domestic. Emigration is increasing. Literacy has gone down by a whole percent. How dare you! Roads and rails just stack. Huh. So does that mean I have to pay maintenance for both? Even though I'm probably only getting the benefits from one. I really wish it, it told you what you have and where. But there is absolutely no way of seeing infrastructure details. Oh, no, don't, don't be nuking anyone. Alright, how much is left on here? 277 million. Time remaining, 212 days to 252. Probably 212. Seeing as I am paying out maximum. Oh, I see. It just shows which is present. But why would you ever want both? Does both actually give you a bonus or anything? And there's no way of, like, demolishing the rail. So I really don't understand the point. And I really hope the road show on top when they're built. Otherwise that's going to be really annoying for seeing where my roads are. Because rails spread supply better. I thought roads did. I mean roads you move along quicker. They also cost a boatload more. Ten times more, in fact. Railguns in this game would be cool. Uh, I think you... Oh, you mean railway cannon as, if, as opposed to railguns. Railguns are an actual weapon, uh, which basically uses... What's it called? Zero friction barrels to launch things with amazing power. But you mean, like, rail-mounted artillery? Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Oh. Right, what do we have here? Two ATs and an AA. Now, I know that we need an AT up here. Yeah, just one in Kroningen. So we'll grab you. In Trench, in Kroningen. And then AA. Do we have AA everywhere now? Probably. Uh, yes, I think we do. No, we don't. We don't have one in Kroningen. And then this AT is just back up, so I'm just going to stick it in Zwolle. Uh, or Eindhoven. We'll leave it here in Eindhoven. Yeah, you're thinking the famous German one. Trains carry more than trucks, so it makes sense for the rail spread supply better. Ah... Uh... But do they? Because you can get a lot more trucks on a road than you can rail. Roads are... I don't really understand why roads are so much more expensive. One of the reasons roads are so popular is because they're easy to build. Comparatively. Oh, well, what the hell is that? 
A Panzer II C. The Germans are starting to move their armor up to us. We must be careful. Oh, another Mexico. Sweet. Reserve. We could probably do with building some capital ships. I mean, we have a lot of escorts now. How am I doing? Still losing a bit of money. Daily expenses are still high. Because of construction? No, because of social services. So be it. Anyway, I think that this is going to be it for today's uh, stream. So thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you're enjoying this. If you are, then do hit that follow button to get notifications when I'm live in the future. If you're really enjoying this, then do consider subscribing. If you want to see more of this type of thing, I do have a YouTube channel, which you can find at youtube.com slash Viking, which I'm going to link here. Um, if you want to support the channel another way, then check out the Discord, which you can find there. And then finally... Uh, sorry, I meant Patreon. Check out Patreon if you want to support the channel in other ways. I do... Well, can't spell. Apparently. Oh, did it again. There we go. I do have a Discord server, which is where I tend to announce my um, streams, schedules, what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, that type of thing. It's also where the Mordred Viking community hangs out. They're a cool bunch. They know a lot about games. And if you want to find uh, multiplayer games, that type of thing, it's a good place to do that. The next stream will be tomorrow. I don't know exactly what I'm doing or when I am doing it. Stay tuned to Discord. I will be announcing things there as soon as I probably, as soon as I wake up and actually decide, hey, you know what? I should probably stream. Um, most likely Total War Warhammer. Don't know if it's going to be continuing with the Lizardmen or doing one of the other races. Probably will be doing the Lizardmen, actually, because next week Mortal Empires is out. And I have contacted Sega saying, hey, can I get a pre-release copy? Not heard back from them yet, but I did only message them on Friday, so I might. Uh, and if that does come out, then I kind of want to have the Lizardmen... Uh, actually, I was going to say wrapped up, but we're nowhere near to wrapping it up. More progressed, put it that way. So thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this, and I will catch you guys next time. Slaven! Yes, yes! No! Lizardmen. Sorry. Lizardmen. Bye.